Hey, it's David Heatley here from Cycling Inform. Now, uh, it's Thursday the day, and a couple of days after our uh, four-day training camp in Brighton, of course, I'm feeling quite fatigued from the training load that I've experienced during those four days. Now, uh, I've just been out for my recovery ride today. Yesterday, I had a bit of a rest day, uh, and today, I've just gone out for my first ride, and as a consequence, I'm riding like a snail, and that's okay. That's normally, uh, that's normal. That's to be expected. And we generally find our clients usually it takes a couple of weeks to get over the training load that they experience at Bright Boot Camp. And then after that two week period, they feel like they're riding without a chain. I call it the Bright Boot Camp training effect. You know, and they kind of get a bit of a bad rap from their mates because they come back from the training camp, you know, and they get out on their bikes and the first weekend back, they're still riding like a snail. And they mates say, oh, that training, training camp was no good. You're not any better. And then the following week, you know, they're smashing over their mates because they're riding so well. So it's called the Bright Boot Camp Training Effect. But the thing that I wanted to make uh, an important, you know, I wanted to make uh, the important tip around this is that, you know, it's important to understand that training load is the stimulus and that we get fit, you know, that we the adaptation happens in the recovery. Oh, great, we've got the birds flying over our head. It's uh, first thing in the morning, so we've got the cockatoos having a good time. Now it's, it's uh, the training load. The training load creates a stimulus, but it's in the uh, recovery that the adaptation happens. So where cyclists uh, get it a little bit wrong is that they keep on training. They train hard, train hard, train hard, train hard. And they don't allow themselves uh, the opportunity to recover. And so they don't allow their body to create the adaptation. And what we've found is that over time, you know, the last seven years of our training programs, we've added more recovery in to make sure that people were getting the adaptation and getting, getting fitter and they were being fresher. The other thing that people go wrong uh, with their training is they don't do enough training, they don't create enough volume in their training or not enough intensity in their training or they're training in the wrong zones, uh, the wrong cadences, doing the wrong things. So they're not creating the stimulus within their body. The training load isn't creating enough stimulus for the adaptation to happen. So those are the two things that generally go wrong. And when I'm working with my clients one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always, you know, I spend most of my time working on assessing where they are with their training load. Either we're looking at their heart rate data or their power data and making sure that we're getting enough enough training load into their into their weekly training and making sure they're getting also enough recovery. So, you know, it's very, very important. So look, that's the tip for today. I hope you've been enjoying it. It's David Heatley here from Cycling Inform.